Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by Design by Kathy. Today I'm gonna to be doing a pour and a spin. I've got a little contraption that I've <laughs> rigged up literally on a little Lazy Susan. I'm uh, gonna see how well it works or if it even holds together. That will be interesting because I put it together. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna be using Arteza paints today and see what happens. Be sure and check out, I have links also to Arteza below. Uh, have one for the US buyers and one for uh, any of you UK watchers. So let's get set up and get right to it. These are the paint colors I'm gonna be using. They come packaged like this. Um, I have gold, this green and ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. And I don't know, I hope you can, I don't know if you can see that. This is the, the green. It's the, I don't know how to say that, so. All right, I'm gonna set these aside. Just wanted to see, wanted you to see the packaging. Okay, this is on, I have a little uh, Lazy Susan turntable thing under here. I wanted you to see my little setup. Uh, I did take, I had this little board I was gonna use for something else, but now I decided to try it on here. And so, I have screwed the Lazy Susan into the board, and then I've screwed the board to the canvas so that it'll stay on while spinning. So, we could have a total disaster thing here going on. I hope not, but we're gonna see. I wanna make sure that I've got plenty of room, which I will in a minute here. Uh, this paint is really thick, really rich, rich fabric colors, really thick. It did blend really well with um, my Liquitex. It takes less paint because it is so thick, so you do need more pouring medium with it, which is no big deal. It just takes less paint. So anyway, beautiful, beautiful colors. I love the colors. They're just really vibrant looking. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna layer layer these in another cup right quick, and then I'll make sure I have room for my spin, and we'll start pouring. All right, so now I'm gonna get these layered in here. Okay. So we've got our dirty, our dirty pour, our, our dirty cup here, ready to go. I wanna make sure, the reason I wanted, well, I wanted to be able to use different size canvases on here. And um, I wanted something to, you know, make my spin work. So I've got plenty of room. I have, I hopefully have everything uh, covered that might get splashed on or I'm in big trouble. But, okay, so now let's get started. I'm gonna just start here in the center.
clearly uh, <laughs> a level surface would be much better. I don't know if, if it's my canvas or my, or my table is not completely level because I work in a garage, my garage, and you know garages are not made to be level. Now I have some little, if you see these little things in here, that is just because I obviously did not stir, get one of them stirred well enough, but I'm gonna pluck those out with a popsicle stick or a toothpick or squish them, whichever works better. That was my bad. Now the advantage of spinning like this is the fact that you can keep your, your pattern pretty much intact. You don't have to manipulate it as you would. Now, <laughs> I don't know yet how my little contraption is gonna work uh, because I can't take it off until my paint dries. So we'll be checking that out for sure. But I do need this, I want to, there we go. So here we have it. This is, the, the paint is very, very concentrated and the little places that I had, um, I should have mixed it a few stirs more, but that's just something to learn and know. It's very concentrated, so keep in mind way less paint than what you normally would if you're pouring, you know, out of a bottle, you know, such as this. The consistency is just completely different. Very, very vibrant colors. I held the color really well mixed with my uh, Liquitex, and as far as my little contraption here, well, <laughs> that's, that's my uh, contraption. I got the idea from Wiggles Art. Uh, he did one, he put a 12 by 12 piece of wood on it that he had to cut. I have a skill saw, but I'm not real comfortable with it and I'm pretty sure I couldn't get a 12 by 12 square. Uh, so I had this little board. We'll see how it works. Again, my problem is gonna be that I can't take this off until the paint dries. So that will be uh -oh, a little interesting. I think I just got paint on my glasses that that won't be good. But anyway, these colors are just really awesome together. And I love the rich tones that they have. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate you subscribers. And I love your thumbs up and your likes and shares. And if you're just dropping by Designed by Kathy, I hope you'll subscribe as well. You all have a great day and I'll see you next time.